suddenly I understood a voice kind of resounding within me that called me by my name and said, I would like you to be a priest. It was enough that kneeling there, uh, my mouth dropped open because it was a profound experience of the voice of God that I'd never had before. Like, how can I follow that calling? The Lord is a lamp unto our feet, and a lamp only illuminates kind of the next step or the next two steps, and it doesn't illuminate the whole path. Lord, you are a lamp unto our feet. If this is what you want me to pursue, then show me how to do that. I've learned quite a bit of things about myself during my time at seminary. It's just kind of been holistic self-knowledge and holistic self-growth. You know, knowing who I am, what are my faults, what are my strengths, kind of just trying to figure out who God wants me to be. There's a continual growth and holiness that each of us is called to follow. The, the desire to do God's will is all you really need before entering seminary. I, I think that's the only thing that I had going for me applying. You don't need to speak fluent Latin, you don't need to know all these philosophical ideologies. So if you're bogged down with trying to know everything before you can become a priest, that's, that's an unrealistic uh, kind of goal to set for yourself. St. John Vianney was known to be not an intellectual guy, but he had the passion to do God's will, and because of that and his you know, ability to surrender himself to God, he was able to be the role model for all priests. Going to the seminary, I, I don't feel like there's anything you can possibly lose. There's no time lost, there's no friendships lost. Everything is a gain with the seminary. I've heard of stories of other guys that have discerned out that they say everybody should go to the seminary just because of all the formation and how much you mature as a man. They always say like, yeah, I'm a better Catholic, I can be a better father, you know, just a better man because of what I did, so just don't be afraid. If you feel like he's calling you to it, then you gotta listen to the call. If you have any draw to the priesthood at all, um, definitely look into the seminary because the seminary is not a place to become a priest, but the seminary is a place to see if you are to be a priest. Entering, like I kind of just had like this vague conception of what sainthood is like, and then studying like Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint John of the Cross, mystical theology in general, uh, and praying more, uh, I've just realized how deep uh, you can go in your uh, interior life in growing closer to God. What surprised me is just how much there is to learn. It's daunting, but also in some way thrilling. Like there's, there's so much more to know about your faith and so much deeper that you can go. No matter where you are in life, you can always be learning and you can always be growing closer to God, and especially in a seminary where you know, you have spiritual direction, you have formation meetings with uh, priests. My favorite part would probably be, you know, the uh, prayer routine. To be in community and praying the office a couple times a day and daily mass, and to have the opportunity for Eucharistic adoration, all those things I really, really value. See, so what are your likes, what are your uh, interests, and then Ask God what are his interests for you and how can you intertwine them all. Keep coming back to adoration because there you will find everything. Just if you feel like God wants you to take a step in the direction to priesthood or you know uh, any sort of religious life, don't be afraid to just take that first step. To entrust it to God and to commit to a prayer life is something that is really the next step and hearing God's voice. Be open to it. Don't be afraid to enter seminary. Don't be afraid to contact your vocations director. You're not committed to seminary if you contact him. It's an ongoing process. Your abilities, your talents, and all of that are up to God and how he'll use those. So it might sound trite, but the only real prerequisite for seminary is to be called.